and these are my stink on fungus coming up. I had a couple last year on this bank, but this year there seems to be loads and loads breaking through. We're just bursting through there. There's one already erupted. The green stuff on the top is the spores and that's that smells. I think it smells nice, but it's supposed to smell like uh, dead meat, rotten meat to attract flies, but it doesn't. Nevertheless, flies are attracted to it. They get it on the feet and they, they walk it all over. So, in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to have about 30 or 40 stink on coming up. It's been dry recently. Some of these pushed through, these pushed through. Oh, weeks ago, you can see where something's... Had a bit of a nibble of it. Um, but it was so dry they stopped coming, but now the rain's come. They're carrying on coming out. Well, I've had a fair bit of rain and the stink cones are coming thick and fast now. And I wish this was uh, smell vision Then you could smell the stink cone. Another one here. When it's raining, the flies don't seem to be able to find them that much, but uh, as soon as the sun comes out. Oh. There we go. Talk of the devil. As soon as the sun comes out, they're covered. And our old friend the slug loves them as well. There's a big one. And the stump of an old one. Another one down there, and one just about to burst. Nice to see. Variety of wildlife on the allotment. Completely harmless, stink corns. Just added a bit of variety, just like another flower, really, to me. We're very lucky here, we've got all the stages of the stink corn all very close to one another. So, on the right there, we've got the egg, which contains the fungus, which is surrounded in a, a jelly like substance. You can just see it there. And if we just wander over here, we can see one just about to erupt. That'll probably be out tomorrow. And coming back to these, next to the egg, we've got the fully erect stink on, covered in the brown spores, and very conveniently, there's a fly feeding on it for us. And then coming around to the left, we've got one which is still erect, but no spores on it, they've all been eaten by flies and then we've got one which has collapsed fully collapsed and is being eaten by slugs and you can just see the honeycomb structure inside which gives it rigidity and uh, the hollow tube so that's really nice all the stages of stink on all very close to one another Uh, this is the same uh, patch of stink horns a few days later, four days later, uh, and the one on the right has erupted, and the one on the left is, is spent, and the ones in between are virtually gone. 